Hey everybody, welcome to the pilot episode of whatever this podcast is going to be called. We haven't decided on a name yet. My name's Cams. I'm a constant reader, a big fan and aficionado of The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant by Stephen Donaldson. Or if you're in the US, Stephen R. Donaldson. Not sure why the publishers do that, but there you go. So we're going to be talking through The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, along with my good friend, Barge. Yeah, so um, I'm Barge, and I've known Cams uh, since we were at uni a million years ago, and I remember him going on about um, uh, the uh, Chronicles of Thomas Covenant at a time when, uh, I mean, you know, I just wasn't interested in fantasy or science fiction or anything. So, I mean, I just, you know, like uh, uh, a couple of times and nights or whatever, you'd have started going on about it. And, you know, just, just the name. I mean, absolutely no detail. So, I mean, you know, uh, I'm coming to this really clean, as it were, you mm -hmm. know, because um, I know... None of the chat around it, I know, uh, uh, none of the story. I mean, I had, um, like, no idea of anything, actually, when I came to it. So, uh, so that's my position, you know, just a clean slate, as it were. Aye. And so you weren't into fantasy or sci-fi back then, are you now? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, certainly sci-fi and, you know, genres in general, I think, are less kind of meaningful and being uh, uh, restrictive, you know, because, I mean, when when stuff is talked about, uh, uh, you know, everything being interconnected as far as I'm concerned, then, you know, uh, anything can be delivered through the medium of anything else. And so um, I don't I don't exclude the way I used to, I think. Very good. So you're coming to it cold. I'm coming to it very, very warm. I've read at least the first and second chronicles multiple times. So each of the the chronicles are made up of three books, the first and the second, and then there's a last chronicles, which is made up of four books. So I'm anticipating getting through all of them. I'm not sure how long <laughs> it will take. Right, right, right. It's yeah. going to take a while. <laughs> so the way I see this going is that we're going to read through two or three chapters a week and then hop on a call and discuss it. We're not going to give you any spoilers. I'm going to make sure that I don't jump ahead and drop anything in that I shouldn't. And um, I won't be reading ahead of uh, the point that we're going to be getting to at the end of that particular uh, episode. So yeah. I won't I won't be going ahead and... Um, uh, if I do spot any jumping ahead, then I'll, I'll point it out. Yeah. So if you want to read along with us, whether you're doing that now or whether it's in years' time, you know, these things are going to be evergreen, I hope. And, you know, I'll just tell you about the inspiration for this. For me, it came from listening to another podcast called Kingslingers, which is all about Stephen King's The Dark Tower series, which I love. I've read the whole thing and... I found this podcast discussing the books in great detail. The format was the same. There was a constant reader who'd read them multiple times and a newcomer. And I, I really like that format as a listener. So I'm keen to jump into it as, as a reader as well and see, see what we can bring to the table. I'm quite surprised at how little content there is out there on the internet about these books compared to some of the other bigger fantasy trilogies or series. So we're going to fill that gap. Hmm. Uh, there's another aspect which um, intrigues me anyway, and I like those kind of uh, personal linkages and relationships uh, so you had you had expressed another reason why you wanted to kind of explore these uh, uh, these books in this format. Yeah, it's really to get an idea of what keeps me coming back to these books. You know, I'm now in my early fifties. I first read these in my late teens, at least the first chronicles, and you know, I was a different person then. You know, and each time I've read these books. 
I've got something else from it and I'm very keen to, to explore that and see what it is that keeps me coming back to this anti-hero called Thomas Covenant, the unbeliever. Hmm. And this, uh, I don't know, this repeat return, it seems to me to have some kind of visceral quality. So, I mean, uh, goes really deep into some kind of aspect of yourself that you want to explore. So um, at least I get a sense of that. And um, yeah, so, I mean, there may be some some deep stuff coming up for you. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, for the listeners' benefit, you know, We've been pals a long time and we've had many deep and meaningful conversations through the years. So some of that might come out, you know. And if we go too deep, there might be some editing involved. Who knows? We're just going to be loose with it and see where it takes us. And uh, hopefully the listeners will get something out of it as well. Yep. So that's us. That's the intro. We're going to be publishing the first episode very soon. We haven't pinned down a schedule yet as such. We haven't even got a name yet, so we'll need to discuss that. Uh, of course, it will have a name by the time it goes out. So by the time you're listening to this, you will know what it's called. But we don't, so let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be too late, of course, by then. <laughs> yeah, it'll be pinned down. All right. So that's us. It's going to go out on the usual podcast platforms. I'm also going to put it out onto YouTube. I think that's it. There's nowhere else, really. It's going to be audio only. We'll probably set up a Patreon or something like that. That seems to be the done thing to invite supporters and try and grow this into something with longevity and hopefully something that you will all enjoy listening to and coming back to each week along with us. So, anything else you want to add before we end this episode, Barge? Um, I guess just that I'm a little bit of a slow speaker sometimes. So, uh, I just want to remind people that they can always listen at one and a half or two speed. Yeah, who doesn't do that? Uh, but <laughs> I find some people find that it's disrespectful to do that. I've had those kind of uh, reactions and, yeah, I've heard right, that, yeah. You know, it's funny. But anyway, uh, I wouldn't feel disrespected. <laughs> no. Yeah, and also with that, I actually put some of my audio books down to 1x at the moment because I've just launched a booktube channel on YouTube and I want to read more deeply, listen more closely. And I feel that blasting through 50-hour fantasy books at two speed, you know... I'm, I'm missing things. So I'm just dropping that in there, you know. Right, right, right. So, yeah, we'll say goodbye for now. We'll send you to where we need to send you to once we know where that is. So right now, you can go to whatever this podcast is called, dot .com, and you'll find us. <laughs> right, so I'll see you when we get back. I look forward to our first discussion of chapters one to three of Lord Fowl's Bane, the first of the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. And just a wee add-on here, I've set up a read-along using the Storygraph app. So if you'd like to read along with us as we publish these episodes, a chapter at a time, I'll put a link down in the show notes. I think the Storygraph app is a really good place for doing this kind of thing, so... That's what I'm going to do. So I've set it up there. You can go and join the read-along. I think you will need a Storygraph account, which is free. So just sign up for an account over there. It's an independent, small platform run by a very small team. And I think it's good to support that kind of thing. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on there. And um, We will be publishing using our new URL, which is theunbelievers.co. So we have a name. Come and find us. We look forward to having your ears listen to our content. <laughs>